I'm hello everyone I'm making this video unedited to ask the fursu company sky fur pros to come out and see yes I can's madfest if they don't know what madfest is um, or yes I can is I'm making this video so I can send it to you sky pro for pros sorry if I'm mispronouncing it um I haven't done this in a long time and I'm not gonna be editing this video because I'm gonna be trying to speak from my heart and try to get you to come see us during Mads Fest which is held um at Canyon High School in California I will be playing some of the video same almost some of the same videos in the last one the only difference will be is there's going to be an extra video in the um this video it's going to be almost the same exact video well actually it is going to be the same exact videos but um the main purpose of this video is um, we'd really like um, Sky for Pros to come out and see what Yes I Can is about and it's a fursuit making company and um, they're mostly famous for making the famous Telephone uh, who is a fursuiter who is really adorable really adorable and um it'd be really cool to have telephone show up maybe i don't know if that is even possible but um that would really uh make our day and i'm gonna start playing one of the videos you guys saw on the last one and, uh, before I do that, I'm gonna turn off my face cam. Santa Clarita, how y'all feeling out there? The name of this group is Unified Highway. Let's have some fun. All the kids that put this on were working their butts off, and they were so excited to be here too, like to put in that work. I never see people at a festival that's, that's working the festival that's actually smiling. And like these kids were like smiling. It made me feel like I was welcome here. And uh, like he was saying, it's an amazing cause. It's truly an incredible festival. I can't think of another festival like this. So we're out, gotta get all the hands in the air if you're feeling good tonight. Here we go. And just to recap, all these bands, um, they donated their time. Most of these bands donated their time. We, yes I Can didn't even have to pay for most of these bands because so many of them were so into it, they decided to donate their time to the festival. Some of them we did pay because um, they needed the money, but uh, Besides for that, um, some of them did donate their time to the festival and came and played for us for free and it was really cool. And please know all of these videos will be linked in the description below 
So if you want to review any of these videos or see the, the rest of the whole video, um, please go check it down in the link in the description below. Now for the other one which I said I was going to do, that is going to be the new one. Listen anywhere. God damn it. Anytime. All your music, no interruptions. There's your ad for the day. Should have had it set up already, but uh... This one, I was not on the stage with them because um, I had to keep running back and forth for different people and I was just so busy running back and forth. Um, I had no time, even though I could have taken a break. Um, I continued to work through the event, even though I was a yes I canner and was invited onto the stage. That is Lisa Lemonman and Miss Nicole, who you just saw. And Lisa Lemonman was one of the co founders of Meltdown, with Miss Nicole later showing up and hopping onto the rings and joining Yes I Can and entering into the Summer Meltdown. The one bouncing up and down in the black shirt is Sita. And um, a fun fact about um, C-Def is that C-Def isn't even his real name. It was what bullies used to call him and he sort of adopted it into his nickname. And um, he wore it with pride, which was really cool. Now um, moving on to the next video. Um, so you guys can get a bigger perspective of what Yes I Can was like. Um, we have the tw 2015 Summer Meltdown, but please do remember the Summer Meltdown does not exist anymore. There's just no money in the budget at Yes I Can right now to pull off this festival. It costs over $60,000 just to do the Summer Meltdown. We just don't have the money. We have lost yes, everything. Yes, Being, yes, but we still do yes, the time, we do the crunching, yes, we do the fundraisers, yes, and we get a festival yes, out there. Yes, and that new festival yes, is Mads Fest, yes, which is Making yes, a Difference Festival, yes, which still does yes, almost I the can. same thing yes, as yes, I can. Yes, I can. Summer Meltdown. Yes, I can. 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 That is not good. We got not good to come out for free. Let it be known. Yes, it was ex extremely expensive. <laughs> That's Elijah, our Yes I Can singer. That's Enrique, our Yes I Can painter. He is a really good artist. He does an art wall every time. And a fun fact about Magna 5, um, it is a part of, yes, most of them were a part of Yes I Can. And another fun fact about Yes I Can is we booked all the artists, we booked all the sponsors, we hunted down the sponsors, we hunted down food, the students hunted down the food trucks, the sponsors, everything. Everything during the event was all done by the students. The bands that were booked, students. 
The event was all put together by students. It was the only event in the United States put together and hosted by students on and off a disability. And the way it started was so magnificent, so beautiful. The reason I'm doing this is to give um, the company um, that I'm trying to I'm trying to get you guys to come out and see our energy, our love for spreading awareness to autism. And we use music as our weapon because what's the number one thing ev almost everybody loves? It's some form of music, right? So we use music as our universal weapon. And you can see why now. I have two fathers, two beautiful fathers, who one of them was brown and one of them was white. One of them taught me how to sing, one of them taught me how to write. Now I put the two together and then the round from my son. I am a white man, I rape my children. I am a black man, a children African. I am a woman, I am a Muslim. I was raised Christian, now I am forgiven. Say Actually, let's add an extra one into this. Um, this one was done by me on my other YouTube account. Um, I recorded the meltdown, the 13th annual, on my, on an old phone of mine, and only got 9 minutes and 36 seconds, so I thought I'd walk around. So, <laughs> sorry about the shaking for the video, um. <laughs> I thought it was live streaming. Yes, I can. Fear them. yes this Fear this them was all. how I recorded in the past. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this is how I acted back then. No! No more brownies! The brownies are gone! <laughs> <laughs> the maids are gone! This is Noah. Hi. <laughs> that was Noah then. Hi. <laughs> He's still that yeah, awkward. Make it awkward for you, Noah. Yeah. And over here, we have Brandon and Andrew. You guys know this is live on YouTube, right? What? I had to say that so that I'd actually Mother get good reactions. On well, thank you for me on your <laughs> hey, You're welcome. Hi. Welcome to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to open a bag. Sorry about that. I wanted my chips. This was all the stuff people um, brought, by the way. Um, we also had chefs come out and who made food for us. Oh, we got chocolate in the house! We got chocolate in the house! It's chocolate! <laughs> Looking back at this, I was really weird. <laughs> I'm so lucky no employers look at this. <laughs> that was Daniel Leary's stand. Daniel Leary does really good pixel art. Like, you can ask him to make you anything and he can make it in pixel form. Who knows what I'm doing? And I just oh, wanted to show. Best concert in the world. Best concert. Sorry about the audio quality of that video too. 
I was going between the wall. Now, this was all done by, well, Enrique. Enrique made all that. All those trucks we got by ourselves. The stu all the students looked for food trucks and we found food trucks. One time we even got a game truck, but uh, not that year. I still own uh, my badge for one of the years. The security didn't care. As long as I had my badge on, they didn't care. And in about a few seconds, you'll see a band member. Sorry about the shakiness of this video. And there's me. Sorry about the shakiness of this video. I was using a phone. These were two band members. Those were two of the band members. They had a pony. They were my favorite. They had an Applejack. They were my favorite bunch. I tried the show as much as I could. Here's the thing, we had reggae artists, we had all the different types of artists of music. on the other side Cassie. Just thought I'd let you guys know. Whee. I think I'm still um, less socially awkward. <laughs> so very busy. Let's go find Mr. Lieberman! Whee. Let it be known, he was found, and he was busy. So I'm gonna stop that video there because that makes me somewhat nauseous. Um, no, 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 this video. Now, this is the next video. Now, let's go. I saw the, just the self esteem just blow out of the room. I said, alright, this is something that we really need to embrace. And each year we've just gotten bigger and bigger. We've gotten more support, more sponsors. Bands are starting to realize that this is just an amazing cause. Give it up for someone out there. I'm the one pumping the arm up in the air. Come out, support local music, autism awareness, that's where it's at. Let's not forget why we're here, autism awareness. It's important, it's our children. This is Buck McCann, uh, we signed it and we said it's 
send it to him to make a national day. To stop bullying. I'm giving you a different look at friends to stop bullying. This is when we had Modest Yahoo. Let it be known, I got a signature from every single band on a broken skateboard I found in the bushes and then had them sign it and I still have that skateboard to this day. The only thing I didn't get si person who didn't sign it was Modest Yahoo. This is when we had the skate park. We had to close off the skate park for our professionals to do their stuff. with Brett at the Summer Meltdown, supporting autism awareness. Brett, thank you so much for this. This is just, I have no words. Uh, I have no words, so I want to just give a shout out to Bulldog Media for coming and stepping up. We're just so glad to have you guys here. It is our pleasure. Tell us, how did this amazing event come about? Well, we're now on our 11th year. It, we started off very small with just 12 students in a classroom with students with disabilities and they felt in, indeed they were to throw a concert or do something at their school to get their peers to back them up, they would then be accepted. And uh, at first they thought it would be, uh, you know, too diff I thought it would be too difficult, and, and we tried it and we pulled it off, and then I saw the, the self-esteem just blow out of the roof out of these students, and I said, all right, this is something Jeez, that we really I need forgot to how and each year bizarre I looked back there. And bigger, we've got more support, more <laughs> sponsors, how energetic I was. And, and music is the universal language that students with and without disabilities completely get. So that's our driving force. To, and our mission is unity through music and education. selected by the students, voted by the students, the security company, we got different bids, stage, lighting, everything. We look at everything, we teach budgeting, we're writing letters to businesses for acceptance. Um, when we needed uh, flights, we were able to get stuff from Southwest Airlines, and that was a student that made that bridge. These lights that you see here are from PRG, who did the Academy Awards, that's from a student contacting them, saying we need help. So the students are realizing, you know, if indeed someone says no, you just keep knocking them over until they go, okay, we should have said yes. It's just an infinite amount of life skills that you have provided and that they have taken upon themselves. It's pretty impressive. Thank you. I mean, we have a, uh, it's a project-based learning. So the students, they don't get individual grades. They get graded upon their collaboration to a bigger project, a bigger thing. So the summer meltdown is bigger than all of us. Uh, it gives people with disabilities just the, the power to go like I'm accepted here it's a beautiful thing to walk into a festival not worry about fights not have to worry about booze people being drunk just good vibes good music good people and togetherness yeah. just being accepted and enjoying a time amongst each other and what a great day
day we got. <laughs> Absolutely. And believe it or not, at 10 o'clock last night, it was pouring rain, and I was going to the Karma Gods. Please, please, we've worked so hard. We were all we like that. We're like, oh, God, God I hope it's not canceled. Now. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Brett, so much for this. It was such a pleasure. Well, I'm going to let um, you ponder on that video, but if you go to the YouTube link, you will be able to see the end of this video. The final video is a video I really enjoy, and I hope you will too, because... It's the best part. Now the summer meltdown doesn't exist anymore due to funds and we don't have the money in the budget to remember that to do this big of a scale but um we shrunk it down to a small carnival themed festival at our high school because the principal was so kind to let us use the high school and we called it Mads Fest now the school district was 100% on board for it because they were for it. I look forward to this class every day. It's changed me a lot. Each year I get better and better. We should include everyone. Um, I want to be a special education teacher one day. A safe place to have fun and express yourself the way you want. The disability doesn't change them. They're still like any normal person, no matter what.
guess again is teach me how to become a better person and just like that no matter if you have a disability or not that you can throw an awesome concert like the summer meltdown is a way to speak to people of different cultures of different of all different backgrounds it's it unites people so far in the SICAM program I've learned to be very tolerant of the disabilities I've learned for social skills better myself for and preparing myself for the outside world and the physicality that shows kids that have those disabilities their way in the world and to understand it all so we get to be involved with a lot of people and with our great yes i can family and to support this wonderful concert with all these bunch of people um, yes, I can has be benefited me in so many ways. I have met so many amazing people, and this is more than just a class, it's a family. We work together, we produce this amazing, amazing show, and I'm so happy to be in this class. I love every single one of them and every single teacher and aide that help us with this amazing program. Unity Through Music and Education it is such an important program that you all need to know about it. So please, I want you to go online, go on Facebook, go on Instagram, and check us out. It's Yes I Can Summer Meltdown. We're going on our 12th annual Summer Meltdown Festival last year with Modest Yahoo, Dirty Heads. This year we have so much awesomeness. Well, I'm probably going to end this video here. Um, I just want to implore or implore. I don't know how to properly... Uh, word this but let me just reactivate my face cam uh, I don't know how to word this properly or even how to say this um, perfectly um, but um, it would be really cool to have um, Gosh, I forgot the name. <laughs> Please remember, I, I I don't like editing my videos as much as I want to. Um, even if I enjoy sending it to my friend to do it for me, but I I honestly hate edit videos because it it doesn't suit me. It doesn't. But um, I'm just trying to branch out to all the different fandoms, all the different people, all the different fursuiters, and all the different fursuit makers, and try and have them come and enjoy a relaxing time in California with Yes, I can at Canyon High School. Um, so that they can get to know um, Yes, I can and see Yes, I can. Um, how I see it and how I see it through my eyes. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, leave a comment down below if you liked it. And if you are interested. Um, I will be leaving a link um, to the Yes I Can family Instagram and my Instagram, but um, it would be really cool to have um, people with fursuit show up. It's really cheap to get in. It's only $3 just to get in. And there are game tickets that we sell for 25 cents. So you can play some games, come play some games, come in fursuit if you want to come in a fursuit. It's completely up to you. If you don't own one, come as you are. Because everyone's welcome. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, leave a comment down below. And I hope to see you on the 21st of. April. I'm stuttering so much because I'm so nervous.
because I'm afraid um, the company that I am asking, first suit company that I'm asking is going to say no because um, it sounds really unprofessional. But let it be known. Do we all start off as a professional? No, we don't. We learn. We adapt. We take what we've learned and we readapt to our environment and change things. But um, my difference between every other channel on YouTube is I don't edit. It's just like live streaming. I live streaming. You don't edit. You're on live. Whatever you say, whatever you do happens. And there's no editing that. I prefer the non-edit route because, well, it's me. It's how I like it. And if you can accept that I don't edit or it's just like not accepting me for being a brony, not accepting me for being a furry, not accepting someone just because they have a fursuit, not accepting someone how they have a whole bunch of plushies. Like, there's one out of my mini that apparently just happened to be in the room, which is honestly really weird. But I just really want to get this video um, out there so that um, they can decide whether they will or whether they won't um, come join Yes I Can for our second annual Mads Fest. I will be leaving um, the flyer down at the bottom of um, no. You can go find the flyer on the Yes I Can um, Instagram page. So if you're looking for a flyer, um, go to the Yes I Can family member page and if you scroll down, uh, eventually you'll find the um, flyer. I don't know how far you'll have to scroll, but um, you will find it. Um, you can also find it on my Instagram if you go through my images you can find it rather quicker than going through the yes I can one but that's because I post a lot less than I actually do sorry about that I'm really tired I'm doing this I like around 4 a.m. but I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless please leave a like leave a comment down below and please don't leave comments saying oh I can't go um, that just gets annoying but um to the fur fursuit pro company please let me know Please email me. I'd like to know if you're interested. And I've already had um, the Yes I Canners prepped ready for any first suitors who come along so that we have the knowledge of how to handle being around a first suitor, how to help a first suitor, the signs for when a first suitor needs water. Um, we have the knowledge for that so please come join us it would be really nice to meet some of you I will be working that day on eight on April 25th this month on the 21st I said 25th before but eh, I'm tired I'm gonna make mistakes <laughs> but I hope um, some of you see this video and decide to come out please come out it would really mean a lot come support autism awareness 
and spread the word and help spread autism awareness to the world and I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I hope to see all of you in the next video. Please remember all links to these videos will be left in the description below if any of you want to go view them. See you next time.